Hey guys, it's Kitten. Um, this video will be um, a little unexpected and kind of serious. I usually don't talk about shit like this. Um, at least particularly one of the parts that I'm going to be talking about in this video. I watched two videos in particular that hit me home. The first video I watched um, was Mark's newest video about like his title is YouTube has changed or something. YouTube is changing, something about that. I really agree with what he was saying. YouTube is definitely going kind of into that like Hollywood persona of people. It's bringing the worst out of people and I say that for um because I watched another video that that like brought up some issues with myself like it's getting to that point where like this YouTube power with all these people watching you is going to your head and you think you're invincible or shit like that and like you're not gonna get caught because you are so famous and shit like that um, I think that like it's going to some people's heads that like that now that I'm famous I'm I'm allowed to do shit and I like it upsets me that all these rape and like abuse allegations are coming out about all these different youtubers and it's just it's really upsetting because back when YouTube was first like a first little newborn baby it was it was new it was different people didn't know that it would go and like become this big since YouTube is still kind of new it really is YouTube is still adjusting to itself and now that it's bigger there's going to be sections there's going to be sections of people that are only doing it for the money and then there's people that the power is going to their head and they don't know how to handle fucking life and then there's like people like me who are super super fucking small i don't give a shit how small i am like i don't care i don't I do not give a fuck who like has bigger subscribers and who has more people watching them. I don't care. And that shouldn't affect the people who have bigger subs. They shouldn't look at me and be like, ha, bitch has less subs than me. She's totally not worth my time. Like people shouldn't look at other people creating on YouTube like that. It's just it's not right it's not okay it's not okay and i'm <laughs> i'm kind of going on a rant of the other video why i watched which is philip defranco i watched philip defranco i really respect his opinions i really ex respect his viewpoints on issues i mostly agree on his his um viewpoints on certain like things he talks about in his videos. Um, I will be putting like both Mark's and his video down below if you are curious. But um, apparently these um, rape allegations, emotional rape and abuse allegations are coming out about Toby Turner. I actually, I used to watch his videos back in the day and I had to like, I had to admit he is a bit on camera he's a bit out there uh, I don't watch him anymore it's been like a year since I've watched his shit but I I knew he was there I knew he existed I will be honest since I do respect DeFranco's opinions and I do know that he did work with Toby back then he he knows more about the situation than me he knows Toby more I've never met Toby in my life so I'm just taking the information DeFranco has given me and I'm evaluating it with myself. I'm gonna be honest, like I do the like the few quotes um, DeFranco said, the end of the video is like about Toby like yes he probably has like substance abuse, yes he probably has cheated, yes he like 
did all this shit, but then he said, I don't know if he raped someone. I do agree with that. You just, you don't know like 100% if, if someone raped someone. Like, sexual abuse is so secret and intimate that a lot of people don't know how to take that information. They don't know if it's real. They don't know if it actually happened or if it didn't. So sexual abuse is very, like, iffy. Unless you know the people that it happened to and you know how they are, how they act with people, how they treat life, then you know, like, if it's actually a possibility that that happened. Like I said, I don't know Toby. But I do think that maybe, maybe these allegations are true. I don't know. If they are, I will say Toby is a disgusting human being and doesn't, he isn't worth my time. And if he's not, if he didn't actually rape anyone, I do know that he at least did all this other shit that is bad, so he's not all flowers and fluff that people sometimes see YouTubers as. It's, YouTubers are people. They have their own problems. They have their own issues. They have their own goals. They have their own ad secret agenda. They, people are, are flawed. Some people are more flawed than others. Some people don't know how to do things in certain situations. But that does not mean that people can just take advantage of other people. That's not okay. Even if you are a famous YouTuber, you're a human being and so are they and you should treat each other as human beings with fucking respect. And I'm getting heated, I'm getting heated, cool down. When I first joined YouTube and when I first started YouTube, I thought YouTube was going to be different. I thought YouTube wasn't going to be like Hollywood. I didn't, I didn't think it would uh, be like all this drama and shit and taking advantage of other people and like power going to your, your head. Like I thought YouTube was better than that. I thought people who joined YouTube were real people and they respected each other and it was gonna be amazing and it still is YouTube is still fucking amazing and it's it's so wonderful and it's it's this platform that I love so fucking much when I see people do this that like I've personally watched their videos I don't personally know these people but like if I feel connected to people when I watch their videos. They're people. They're putting their thoughts out there. They're real, they're real human beings. And when I see someone that I used to watch, all these allegations and all these terrible things a human could possibly do is brought out into the light, I start questioning how good YouTube is. People shouldn't use YouTube as their little playground where they can do whatever the fuck they want. And when I say that, I mean shit off camera. YouTube is a platform where you should put your full, complete self on camera for people to see how you really are and relate to you that's what that's why i watch certain youtubers like that's why i watch certain people because they put out their true self and you can relate to them and you relate to them so much that you like you feel more connected to them but when you think this person is actually like putting out their real self when they're really not it, question, I question what YouTube is actually doing to people. Trust me, I'm not going away from YouTube or like YouTube, but I am saying that sometimes maybe YouTube isn't the 
best choice for some people. It shouldn't be a place where you abuse your power to, to make negative things or do negative things. I'm just saying that sometimes maybe YouTubers, YouTube isn't for everyone. But it is a platform where anyone, everyone can go on and I will not stop anyone who does want to. People need to keep that human aspect in mind when they join YouTube and they start putting up videos. Everyone is human. Everyone is human who is watching these videos. And you should put your best true self out there. And you shouldn't feel ashamed of it. You shouldn't hide your true self. But in saying that, sometimes people are not going to like your true self. And that comes with the risk of joining YouTube. And I get it. YouTube used to be such this like such this wonderful, interesting, creative place. And it's becoming more Hollywood and I hate that. I really do. I just, I find it so weird that people are able to be this vindictive. Even if they don't think they are, people are usually sometimes vindictive and mean when they in their head, they don't see it as that. I, I miss YouTube being this amazing creative platform that anyone could be a part of. And I am grateful for that because I wouldn't be here otherwise. I just hate that some people abuse the YouTube life and they don't see it how it really is. They don't see YouTube at its greatest potential. They just see it as making a buck and they they like nothing else. And, and that's that, that bothers me so much. And I wish I wish I had a bigger impact on YouTube as a whole. I really do and hopefully maybe I will I don't know but it's disgusting how people just do terrible things even not on YouTube I don't understand I really don't I've had like close friends get emotionally, physically, sexually abused, all three, and I don't get why that happens. I don't get it. And it's disgusting that people, that people do this to other people. And it's, it's so terrible. It's so bad. I think I should stop it there. <sighs> Whatever. You, you, you get what I'm saying. I'm gonna go now. Bye guys. Yeah, I'm gonna chill.